Hey everybody, Microsoft here Apple Tech on Toilet Videos, and today I'm going to give you a first look and my initial impressions on the iPad Air. Let's get started. So after picking up the iPad Air for the first time, I noticed right away that it is very light. And I'm showing you the thickness right here. So on the top you have your sleep-wake button as well as your mute switch and volume switches. They're very similar to the iPad Mini. And on the bottom you have your dual speakers along with that lightning connector. On the back you have that shiny Apple logo. Right there. On the top we have a microphone on the back and on the top as well. So we have dual microphones for better audio quality. On the side we have nothing. And on the front of the device we have our home button. No Touch ID this time, and it's running iOS 7, as you would expect. So right now I'm just going to do a quick test of searching. I have to say holding this, typing, feels really good. So I can definitely feel a weight difference from a full-size iPad, or this is a full-size iPad, but the fourth generation. But the thinness, I have to say holding it, I don't notice that much of a difference compared to an iPad 4. It's a little thinner but really you can't tell it that much. The screen is very sharp looking and loading web pages is pretty fast. So as you can see we can just do our normal swiping, everything to quit apps, all that normal stuff. And on the side we have this mirrored edge. It's kind of shiny just like the iPad mini. It looks very sharp and I like it a lot. And we have that front facing camera at the top. And it feels just like an iPad mini. It's a lot like an iPad mini. So right there you can see the thickness. So overall, I like it. It's a good iPad. Is it worth upgrading? Yeah, the A7 chip, 64-bit, it's super fast, super snappy. I gotta play with it a little bit after this video. I like it. I think it's a really good iPad. $499 and it's smaller. You can hold it in the hand. So if you have an iPad 4, it's up to you. iPad 3, Still up to you. If you have an iPad 2 or 1, I say definitely go for it. You're going to notice a big difference, especially in that screen, and the speed is going to be a huge jump up. Now I was also able to snap a couple pictures of the other iPad. So this is the black model, or space gray. So as you can see, it has a black front. And then on the back, we have our space gray color, same as the iPhone 5S. This one is the LTE model. So on the side, we have our nano SIM. And then this picture right here, is one of the non-LTE, so you can just see a little bit of a difference. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. If you have any questions about the iPad Air, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Also, let me know which color you like better, space gray or silver. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching.